One of the most exciting highlights at ESMO for me has been the increasing wealth of data and the totality of data concerning both the sef safety but also the efficacy and the equivalent efficacy of biosimilars to the original reference products. And there are now remarkably five biosimilars to reference trastuzumab to Herceptin made by Samsung, Amgen, Pfizer, Mylan Biocon and Celtrion. And I've been involved in the development of Celtrion's biosimilar to Herceptin called CTP6, which involved extensive in vitro and in vivo characterization. Everything from mass spectrometry and ADCC analyses to animal studies. And taking that forward into phase one trials, looking at the pharmacokinetics and immunogenicity, showing it was safe and then ultimately published in June 2017 in the Lancet Oncology, a large phase three randomized trial in the neoadjuvant and subsequently adjuvant setting, comparing it, looking at pathologic complete response rates in the breast and axilla versus Herceptin. This is 550 women in 23 countries and 116 centers. And we found that the PCR rates stayed well within the equivalence boundaries set in a pre-specified way before the trials and safety issues such as decline in left ventricular ejection fraction were absolutely identical and similar to Herceptin and hopefully with these data physicians will be more comfortable prescribing it. Hospitals and payer systems and insurers depending on the system in Europe and America will be happier to pay for it and the cost savings will mean that Additional funding can be available for other therapies and other medical in interventions, but also because of the cost savings, hopefully more women who are suitable for the drug will be able to receive the drug and will be able to extrapolate to other settings such as metastatic gastric cancer, but also use it in an increasing number of studies as well to understand it better and also understand combinations of these drugs and save money therein by studying it in combination.